Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to put Game Boy Advanced and Game Boy Color games onto either your 3DS or DSi, DS Lite or just normal DS. Uh, or, yeah, 2DS as well. Any form of DS. Now, what you'll need for this is a, a type of R4 cartridge. Just, it can be pretty much any one really. As long as it's not, it can't be like several, set, like seven years old. It has to be most maybe three years old, three maybe four, no, yeah, three, hope, at most, I'd say. And to do this, I have an R4 dual core and an R4i 3DS. So, first is the Game Boy Color, and I'm pretty sure it's Game Boy games. Uh, here is Lame Boy, and all, you do, all it does is it just emulates Game Boy, Color, Game Boy Color games and Game Boy games. So to download it, you click on this link. And there, it's yeah, it's really simple to download, and you click on it, and here it is. And it's an extremely simple, very small file. You you won't even notice it's there, not even a, a megabyte in size. So here, name boy NDS, and all you want to do is drag this into either onto your like card. So I'm gonna put it in games on my RFI 3DS and so just check. Oh whoops. There, Lame Boy. And I've already got on here in my Game Boy Color folder with Lame Boy and Pokemon Yellow. Just gonna put that over here as well. Pokemon Yellow. Um this is my main one, so that's why it's a bit more organised. And then, so that's Lame Boy. And just download your. Also, I'll put this link in the description below the like button. And also, you'll want to get your ROMs from Cool ROMs. Yeah. I'll put this in the description below the like button as well. And just so you can download pretty much as tons of emulators plus. Tons of ROMs. There's so many, so it's the great place to go for older, yeah, older games, older game emulators, and older games. So that's Game Boy, and the second one is Game Boy Advanced, and here it is. Uh, GBA Emu for DS, yeah, and the best one you'll probably want to have is the Half White Gold from this website here. Half White. DS.CN. Probably the best one you can have. Um, also, you have apparently you can play with dot 3DS games. Not 100% sure about that, but yeah. So here it is. And to download it, both these links take you to the exact same thing. But just in case, just click this one. I will put the main link. I'll put, I'll put this link in the description below the like button as well. And when it loads, I'll put this media file link in as well. So simply just click the download button and just let it load. Open. And here are the here are the things there. And so here you go. And simply just click on these and drag them here. As you can see, I've got the RPG, Icky Fly, and the HP menu dot NDS and the patch. Same here, uh, RPG, itchy fly, HP menu and the patch. I've already got them there, so you just simply though, just select them and drag. It's simple and it does the extracting for you. And for to test them out, my gamer folder. Oops. Okay, it's mine. Uh, in my Game Boy folder, I have um, Pokemon Dark Rising, Emerald, uh, Fire Red in AGB and GBA, just to show you. And Pokemon Floor Sky, just the Floor Sky and Dark Rising are like mods. Here, in my Game Boy Color one, oops, no, Game Boy Advanced, I've got the exact same things. So, yeah, I can, I can test them out and sh show you. I'll just show you, though, uh, Pokemon Fire Red and Pokemon Emerald. Okay, so that's 
everything you need set up. Everything else you should already have, um, including these. In my other videos, I can show you how. I'll just can close these. And you don't have, also you don't have to eject, but it's just safer just in case you didn't realize that something was going on in the background. Otherwise, in which you can corrupt your files. Okay, uh, see you on the DS. DS now, and here I'm showing you, got my 3DS and DSi, and here's the R4 dual core, and here's the R4i 3DS. On here, it's just as you saw on the thing, everything you need. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop these in. Quickly. And pop this one in. If, uh, just also a thing to say, if ever your thing says no card or ever, or some form of ever, just blow in each little hole that there is, because that can help. Just let it load. Start it. And start them both. Okay, gonna go on to first. I'm gonna be showing you Lame Boy. So go on to games. Games. And here it's load up Lame Boy and yes. Go on to it. Here I will go on to. Oops. Sorry about that. I'll just show you on here first. There's GBA and there's games. I save this to GBA. I think. Yeah. And here. It's showing you the only game it can play. Pokemon Yellow. So play Pokemon Yellow. It's loading. Just get it loading on here. And as you can see. Um. Not amazing, you see, but you can hear. It's hard this because it's quite bright, so I love it. There. Pokemon. And the Pokemon Yellow. Play new game, and then you can see it's playing completely, completely fine. Unfortunately, it can't expand out, but that's otherwise you might be able to find a way to. But I can't. But yeah, it's quite amazing you can actually play. But that's that's on the so far that's on the R4. Got this loaded. Lame boy. Okay. It's showing you it works on a 3DS as well. Game Boy Color, Green Yellow, as this is loading I'm just going to quickly turn this off. You can see on the screen better, the starting of Green Yellow. See Pikachu just flying around. So. There's no extra things needed. No anything. It's just, it works fine. I've already got a safe file on here, so. Oh. Walking around just as you would Pokemon Yellow. Let's down. And let's see, see how it just works f as if fluently on the 3DS and the DSi. It is a small screen, but you know, you're probably used to that anyway. Okay. Going on to here. Game. 
and just going to HP menu DS and play. While I just sort this up. Okay. Whilst it's loaded, I'm just going to go through things. First, whenever you do this, I've saved mine to GBA, so that's fine. You just want to make a folder. And then just simply choose uh, your game. So on here, first, as I said, I'm going to choose Emerald. Now, Emerald is a bit glitchy. So I'm just going to show you first. Emerald, click JB file, then from here on, you literally just press A. Add work sound, and there. A to continue. And let's see if it loads. It might not just because it's glitchy, but let's see. No. As you can see, because Pokemon Emerald, when it was hacked, it was done really badly. So you can play the game on a computer, but on something like the emulator within an emulator kind of thing, it gets a bit off. It's hard. But otherwise, that's, that's Pokemon Emerald. Here. I'm going to be showing you. Oops, HP menu, going on to it, 3DS, oh. sorry, GBA, and I'm going to be showing you Pokemon Fire Red, EGB on this one, so load, GBA file, if I press A again, just constantly press A. Press A to continue. There. That's how you know it's loaded well. I'll just turn the sound up so you can hear. Just go through. There. I can fire red. Pretty much. It's actually really done well, like full screen. Yeah, that just says that because, you know. And it goes through the normal start menu like it normally does. And that is that, you know. Just to get out, press home, close. And there's literally playing Pokemon Fire Red, HGB version, on it. You know, it's fl pretty much flawlessly. Yet the only thing you might want to worry for is just when it says, like, uh, when, it, when the part of the screen... Because it's a bigger screen, it's been extended. Part of it glitches onto the right or left hand side. That's just what you have to watch out for. But apart from that, it's fine. Okay, games. HP menu DS. GBA. Go to Fire Red. GBA. Then just press A. And it continue. There. Again, it's playing completely flawlessly. So you don't have to do AGB, but it's just if you want to, you can. And look at it. Playing exactly the same as on the 3DS. Oop. Yeah. Exactly the same. So that is that. That is how you play a uh, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance games on your 3DS. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please like, rate, subscribe, uh, share with your friends, or click the subscribe button on the screen here. Thank you very much and goodbye.